Hey, what's up guys, this is again Showtime with MZ back with another video and in today's one we'll be again reviewing the iOS 18 new features and changes. I will be actually reviewing all the applicational changes that come with the iOS 18, uh, starting with the FaceTime and these are the, all the apps that you can't see on this first page I will be reviewing in this video. So make sure to click like, of course subscribe down below and let's don't waste time and let's begin. Now, next up on the list is the Maps application, and we don't have a pop-up because there are not really a lot of new features that this uh, update implements for the Maps application, but if we tap on our account, we can actually get a library. This is a new thing we have here, the pinned. Then we have places, guides, and routes. So not too many new features in the Maps application, but where we do have new features is actually the phone application. All right, so if we go to the phone application, and if we go to the Recents page, we actually get ability to actually search some of the contacts and a couple of the recent calls that we made previously already appear here. We can tap to see all, but we can also search the number that we are looking for or just not the number, but maybe we want to actually type here the specific contact and see if we called them in the recent time. Actually, there are a couple of new features and changes in the keypad as well of the phone. So for example, if we go ahead and start typing some random number right here, then we can actually see that this is the first thing uh, it shows us that uh, if you continue like this, you might match this contact as well as some other options. So it gives us suggestions of what I might be typing so that it is much easier for me to recognize a number or just type in whatever I'm trying to type in. And we also get this new icon and you guessed it right, it is of course to add a contact. So you can create a new contact and add to existing contact. Now it is far, far more easier than ever before. Next up on the list is the Safari app. So if we get right here, you can see that actually if we go ahead and, for example, go into a specific app uh, website, such as, for example, apple.com, you can see now we have a new icon right over here. So let me show you how it looked previously. So this phone currently runs iOS 17. And as you can see, this is how this bottom corner of screen looked like previously. So we had two uh, capital A's. But now we have a new icon, as you can see right over here. Now let's see what happens if we actually tap that icon. So let's tap it. Here we get two new options, which are hide distracting items and translate to whatever language it is. So if you tap hide distracting items, you can actually select the items that you want to be hidden. So for example, let's hide iPad Pro. And if you tap hide, look what a cool animation we get and there is one item hidden you can cancel it or tap done and continue browsing like this and you can see that there will be this icon that will tell you that there is some hidden item and you can show hidden items right like this just it will reappear as it was previously another new update with this new icon is that we also have this button right over here as you can see and if we tap it it is something that we've been needing for so long and it was only available for the Mac or iPad versions of the um, Safari, but now it is on the iPhone as well and it is a search. So we can actually now search any page in the Safari. As you can see, I typed here iPad, let's type iPad Pro and it will show me and highlight the exact text that I've written in this um, search field. Now let's tap this icon once again and then tap the three dots and let's see the options that we get here. So there are a couple of new options, a couple of old ones as well. So we of course have the privacy report, high toolbar request, desktop website or print. And here are all the other options as we had. And we also have website settings for apple.com with toggles. And also you can choose what type of uh, things are being used with this specific website. The penultimate application for today's video is the messages application and here are a lot of cool new features. So for example, if we type here text, so like this is a test message like this and then let's correct the spelling of course and then if we choose this text as we had right over here we get two new options now look at the cool part if we choose that place we actually get two new options 
which are speak and spell. So let's really tap here, speak, and look what happens. This is a test message. Exactly. It just speaks whatever we just written in a text. Now, if we were to choose a specific word such as this one, and that we would have a new option for spell. And look what happens. M E S S A G E. So it just tells us how we written it. So I guess this is a cool new feature for the people who uh, have disability in their eyes and they can't really see well what have what they've just written or something like that and they want to hear it or they want to make sure that their spelling is right. So this is basically how it works. And now let's send this message and let's see all the new features that come with it. So previously with the iOS 17, if we were to long press on the message, these were the reaction that we were getting. But here in the iOS 18, look, the reactions have now become colorful and we actually react with the emojis of our choice. We can even tap this and choose all the different emojis that we want to use. But one thing that I guess is one of the most important things in the messages application for the iOS 18 is that let's say, for example, we want this test message to be sent not right now, but later. We can now actually do this. So we will tap the plus icon, then we will tap send later and look at that. Not only can we choose the date when we want it to be sent, but also a specific time right to the minute. And if we tap it, it will be sent later whenever we've chosen it to be sent. And before that, another person will of course not be notified for of anything at all. And the last application for today's video is actually the music application where we do get the pop-up as well. So this is how the pop-up looks. Browse is now called new. So get personalized new releases and find out about big moments in music handpicked by our editors. And we also have share play on more devices. Everyone can instantly play and control the music at home or on the go. So let's stop continue. So once we are in the music application, if we tap on the playlist, the view has actually changed. So previously with iOS 17, this is how it looked. And if you wanted to add a new playlist, you will simply tap this plus icon. But here, actually that plus icon is gone and it is right in here in the top corner. It just gives it a more natural and more neater look. Another new button that you have already noticed is this one. And we have all playlists, favorites, and also the downloaded playlist will appear right in here. Another cool new feature is that if we tap on our account, we now actually have uh, one new thing, which is, or actually two new things. So this first one is find friends, so contacts on Apple Music. Apple Music will periodically check the contacts on your devices to recommend new friends and allow finding my Apple account. People who have your Apple account contact information may see you as a recommended friend for Apple Music. I am not quite sure what it is for but well it's quite interesting that we now do actually have an ability to add friends to our apple music application and last thing is that previously with the ios 17 if we were playing some music and if we would tap on these three uh lines over here we had two options which were shuffle or repeat the song just like this but now it actually has a new view so while but playing some music, if we tap on these three lines over here, you can see that it, now the look is far better. As you can see, we have three options now, shuffle, repeat, or loop, I guess. I don't know why it's disabled right now, but yeah, we have it as well. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, just make sure to leave a like. Of course, subscribe down below so that you don't miss any future videos just like this. So there are a bunch of new things that will be coming in your way in the nearest future. So yeah, just make sure to click like, subscribe, and watch next videos. I'll see you guys there. Bye.